How's it going everybody? Max and Cam here at Gamescom 2013 where we just got out of seeing The Witcher 3. Now unfortunately this demonstration does look almost exactly the same as the demonstration they showed back at E3 earlier this year, so if you guys haven't read Kevin Van Ord's write-up on that, be sure to go check it out. But anyway, Cam, what were your big takeaways from this okay, demonstration? I think the big takeaway was, I didn't see the E3 presentation, but the big takeaway was that The Witcher 3 is much more about Geralt's story. Okay. Okay. So it's about his kind of personal transversing through the new open world. That's a thing I made up. Yeah, the, uh, like the previous been... game was sort of, there was a lot of politicking yeah. going on and how the Kingslayer and interacting with all these different empires, whereas this game is sort of, they're taking a step back from that, it sounds like. Yeah, exactly. And there was, they really tried to show off a lot of the side quests versus the main story. Yes. So, you know, you could, um, you could be going along happily on the main story and then you'd see a side quest and you could be like, you know what, I'm going to stop exactly what I'm doing and pursue that or not. There seemed to be all those hallmarks of a real true open world game. So that was good to see that. Yeah, and one of the things that I was really happy to see that they brought over from the second game is the monster hunting aspect. That was one of my favorite parts of the, the previous game, mm, going out researching absolutely. monsters, tracking them down, hunting them. And that was a big part of the demonstration they showed us. Yeah, they really fleshed that out. So now you can, as before, you can search for clues, sorry. Yeah. But also, you have a beast theory. So this is kind of book with all the information about all the different beasts you might want to hunt. And for me, as a bit of a book nerd, that, sure. and the, you're beautifully drawn as well, it, that, that's quite exciting for me. So you can do your research, do your science, do your homework and figure out whether or not you can actually tackle one of these guys. And that was another one of the big things we find out, is that enemies don't scale in The Witcher 3. And this is a big consideration, isn't it, for an open world game, you know? Like Skyrim. Yeah, you could easily just blunder into an area thinking you're, you know, you're Geralt, you're a total badass, I can just walk in and kill anything. Yeah. Not always the case. Yeah, so um, that, that's quite a big deal. So you will come up, especially if you're just wandering the world, yeah. you will come up against things you can't tackle yet. And you, know, you will have to then go and get better, get a better weapon, drink a different potion, learn how to make that, that type of stuff. So speaking of tackling things, yes! One of the big things I noticed was uh, the combat in the game. It felt a lot quicker, felt a lot faster. Geralt was able to, like in the second game, the combat was still pretty quick, but all of your strikes were very deliberate. Yeah, and it Geralt, felt heavy. You know? Yeah, he, Geralt felt, he felt pretty human. Um, and like when you would roll, you wouldn't necessarily roll that far away. I've tried to roll away from a lot of enemies just to get stabbed in the back. But in this game, they really hyped up that like Geralt's this mutant monster hunter. Mm -hmm. So he was like just running in, boom, 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 three hits real quick. And then he would roll back like, yeah. I don't know, like two normal person lengths away. Yeah. Like he would like, he could move in and out of combat Does that worry much you? quicker in this game. Does that worry you? Because you know one of the, the great things about The Witcher 2 is yeah. it was such a challenging game. Um, does that worry in terms of the difficulty, or do you think we've seen enough to, to dispel that worry? I mean, I certainly hope that they they keep that high level of difficulty. I think they could do a little more to introduce some of the concepts up front. Sort of the in The Witcher 2, they kind of just push you off the deep end right at the beginning, because they gave you spells, they gave you potions, they mm -hmm. gave you all these tools right up front. They didn't necessarily tell you how to do them, but they definitely expected you to use all of them. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I hope they maintain the difficulty just with a little more instruction up front. Excellent. Okay. Well, guys, thanks very much for watching. And for more on Witcher 3 and everything from Gamescom, just stick on GameSpot.com.